hello, welcome to another Artcast. Today, we're going to be taking a look at uh, a commission of Fifi the Adventurer. Um, basically, just uh, Fifi in a kind of uh, Indiana Jones outfit. Here, I'll just give you a little preview. Boom. There you go. Um, I don't know when I discovered this, but I recently discovered just how to maximize the perspective tool. So you can see me here just like really trying to trying to um, fine tune the perspective that I want. Um, and also I found figured out how to use the uh, a, a vanish point ruler where you can just add another one. I, I've always had trouble with perspective, even going back to like high school. Um, Let's see, you're doing chicken strips and garlic, and then I'm going to have, ooh, nice, very good. Uh, I miss chicken. I really do. Grandma doesn't care for it, and I, I eat whatever she likes most of the time. Sometimes I have been guilty of having gone to shopping in the middle of the day, and then getting like a eight piece, and then almost eating all of it. Just because I don't. I leave like three pieces, but man. I used to eat fried chicken all the time. And she says she hates it because she grew up on a farm. Whatever that means. Um, but anyway, yeah, I miss chicken. So good for you. We had macaroni and cheese. Leftover macaroni and cheese from what I let, made yesterday. Um, but anyway, like I said, I was always having trouble with perspective. It was just something that I didn't... Which is weird because I was more prone to geometry as opposed to like algebra or any other sort of math. Um, so I understand it. It's just that I re I forget it fairly quickly. Um, although, although paint tool say it, um, it has many merits. If I could just. If I could take the pen of Paint Tool Saya and put it into Clip Studio and then maybe like simplify the UI a little bit here and there. Because sometimes you get lost in all of those menus. But like I was saying, if I could do that, then I would totally use Clip Studio. I don't there's something about the pen I don't quite enjoy. I can't quite get the, the feel of it. Um but I will say that it has top notch uh perspective tools. And a fantastic um, model, um, you know, where you can imp import 3D models, use their imp use their models themselves, and uh, it's great with perspective. And Paint Tool say uh, it you have to lock in the um, the perspective. I just now uncovered that really, you, where you can lock the vanishing points of a two or three point perspective tool. Um, and then I just now realized that, oh, I could take a two-point perspective, get my scene set up, and then add a one-point, uh, a perspective vanishing point ruler, which they do have, and then just put that anywhere I want to. Like, if this, if a if a leg is sticking out this way, I could, I could just add a new perspective point. I can add as many of those as I want. Um, again, eh, it's the perils of te self-teaching and whatnot. Uh, let's see, it's a new... T -t -t is the art not live? No, I'm afraid, uh, Tom Kingston, uh, sometimes I do do live art drawings over on Picardo. And we will sometimes listen to music or watch watch a video. Things we can't do here on YouTube. Um, I could, I could stream on YouTube, and I probably should because that's kind of revenue just sitting there. You don't get paid for Picardo videos, but you do get paid for YouTube videos. Um, and I could do a long-form drawing of that, except for the fact that you can't, like... You have to use, like, um, royalty-free music. And uh, some of it's pretty good, but some of it is a little bit monotonous. I don't really enjoy it. And I, if I don't enjoy it, I don't think my viewers would enjoy it. Uh, but then again, they don't... Uh, I mean, you you don't. I I'm guessing you don't watch me for music. You watch me for my drawings. At least I hope so. 
Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, the fight at the end was... Oh, you're talking about King Kong uh, versus Godzilla. Oh, so you just got into Tiny Toons. Yeah. Um, I would have to say I enjoy Tiny Toons more than I enjoy Animaniacs. Just because of... And you know what? The new one, I think they solved it a pro the problem a little bit. In that they whittled down the cast... When I was watching Animaniacs, I had the feeling that they were all the segments were disjointed. Um, with Tiny Toons, you felt like okay, well, it's in it's it's you're in you're in uh, what do they call it? Something Ac Acme Acres. That's what they called it. You're in Acme Acres. You're going to um, you're going to the high school, you're going to all this, this is this is sort of an enclosure and a an habitat for these characters. I never really got that with uh, Animaniacs, because the, the titular Animaniacs could go anywhere and be, you know, go anywhere at any time. They did that on Looney Tunes, uh, or Tiny Tunes, pardon me, um, with like the Sherlock Holmes sketch, sketch and all that stuff, but uh, I don't know, it just felt like more more uh, I'm, I'm what were I'm I'm thinking I'm I'm using the the word I'm thinking of is adhesive but I'm thinking of god now I can only think of that word adhesive whatever um more together more more streamlined hello okami how's it going uh good evening richie yeah, they're both good. You don't need to choose. They're both getting a reboot, I think. Um, but anyway, yeah, I just had a lot of fun with this. I did the original sketch on my phone. I think this was... We were still... We were running around to uh, get a birthday gift for, for my aunt. And I took Grandma out to the mall. So I just kind of... I was like, oh, this is actually like a really good pose. I find myself doing that a lot of the times. I will draw uh, quick sketches and quick poses and then bring those into the computer and then have to just kind of work from there. Hello, James. How's it going? Uh, but yeah, like I said, I was really starting to get into perspective. And it really does help keep the whole figure in line and in, in together. You can, it's better than eyeballing it anyway. Which anyone, any artist will tell you. Uh, as you can see, paint will say is a little finicky. Sometimes you can't actually choose which access you're, you're drawing on. Uh, paint tool Saya, or Saya, whichever one it is called. Um... Did you ever? Did I ever get involved in Sonic Sad AM Reanimated? No, no. I'm just I'm I'm floating in the ether. I, I was thinking about it, but I guess it might, it really did slip my mind. I spent a good chunk of the last maybe two weeks getting ready for Easter because it's Grandma's big Easter. She got her both her she got both her vaccinations, so she's taken care of. Uh, which means that we can kind of, it, it doesn't mean that she can run around without a mask and, and, you know, start licking doorknobs and stuff like that, but she's happy. Um, we can have some more family get togethers and we don't have, she's the main one we're all worried about. Although to be perfectly honest, let's see, uh, a cancer survivor just had leg surgery. My mother still needs to have her hernia surgery. They're, every one of them is teetering. On something, a good stiff wind can knock them down. Just about everyone. Um, I never have kids when you're like 40. Uh, hey, do you ever give tutorials on how to draw people? I... No, I mean, I don't really... I, I, I could... But my tutorials would just be other tutorials that I, I look through. I mean, I just kind of... Um, I could tell you how to break down a character, which means it just means looking at the shapes that occupy their form. Uh, 
uh, do I ever consider giving red riding, a red hot riding hood the familiar faces treatment? No, but I am going to talk about Hello Nurse. I just uh, filmed that episode. Actually, I used some of my, uh, I used some of my money to, um, I used some spare money to buy a proper teleprompter. I was using a cardboard box, and I got fed up. I started recording the, the, uh, the Hello Nurse episode, and I'm using some stronger lights, and I can't quite read the words. I was using a, like a little a box, and I would put my tablet and shove it in there, and then just kind of have it run. Uh, I finally just bought a like eighty dollar teleprompter kit. And it comes with just basically like the flimsiest piece of plastic, but it's the right kind of plastic um, because it reflects the words just right. It isn't, I was using the method where you go and you buy like a, like a poster piece of plastic or like you uh, picture frame or glass and you get this weird double reflection and sometimes it's just not right. Um, so basically, what it, whoever I got bought this from, some sort of Chinese company, um, you know, like straight off the manufacturer floor, um, I got it and I paid like 20 extra bucks for shipping off of eBay just to get it to me quick. Um, and I was just, yeah, I was just able to uh, rec knock that out real quick. I've also taken to a program called, let's see if I can open it up. I have it here. Do, 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 do. It's called, uh, mind, mind Omo, M I N D O M O. It's a mind map, uh, program. And it really helps me streamline all of my, my thoughts. Um, so that I can I can break down video essays or just loose compendiums of ideas into um, like you know those. Uh, pardon me, I'm going to drink some water. <coughs> uh, you know the side eye reviews where it's just like a general you know free form critique of whatever I happen to be watching because I watch a lot of stuff and I can't do a familiar faces on everything nor do I feel the need to when when I pick out a good character I'm like oh well I can make something out of the central theme of this character who runs through the whole show um and it's like yeah I can do that familiar faces will be reserved for special characters and then I can do the side eye review for just about any new thing that happens to pop up. Because let's be honest, a lot of things are popping up. I, sh I could do something on WandaVision. I could do something on uh, the Mitchells versus the Robots or whatever that one's called now. Um, but yeah, this is a great little program. It's just a mind mapping thing. I've got so many, uh, I've, I've written like four scripts of familiar faces already about it. I'm working on some, uh, cheap damage. It's just about, uh, just about trying to, st I don't know, streamline everything as much as I can and then go for it. I got, I got, let's see, I got the teleprompter. I got the computer set up outside so that I can go out and just hit record. Although, in the next, in the coming months, it will be unbearable just to go out and uh, work in the garage where I tend to. Although I can film in here, I've got a I got a small green screen now. I've got the teleprompter which I can move. I got some lights which I can also move. So it's not like I have a big studio now. I can move everything I need in here and uh, just adjust a few things and then keep on working through the summer. Um, I have a, I've told you guys, I have the arm on my monitor, which I can pop up and pop down and move out of the way. I can move the tablet out of the way and I can work straight from this table. So I'm trying to just just you know really 
streamline everything as much as possible. Ah, uh, thank you, Richie. Well, I'm, I'm, I, I try. Um, I also try to just, uh, you know, look after my family as much as possible. There was a point when I was working with uh, Channel Awesome, and I, I didn't miss, I didn't, I don't feel like I missed out on a lot, but it felt like I was work thinking about working a lot when I probably should have been appreciating certain family members, especially my grandfather. My father, he was going through some stuff, and he, he was, he was doing, I wouldn't, not, not his, it, let's just say it was complicated. But like I said, I lost both of them back to back fairly quickly, and uh, it left a vacuum in the family dynamic and uh, that needed to be filled. So it felt like I maybe should have been thinking about them more, which is why I don't really... At first, also, I'm not working with Channel Awesome anymore or anything like that, or, uh, you know, uh, uh, anything that needs... I feel bad that I don't do more commissions or, like, finish the commissions I do have. I've got, like, ten commissions I need to get up and uh, off, off the table, which um, hopefully... I could do as I'm doing this. I could, uh, I could just go and straight into it, and then just keep. Mm, do 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 do. Wait, hold on. You know, I, like I said, I'm trying to just streamline as much as I can, but I'm also trying to focus on my family and keep that going as much as possible. Hey, Joker, how's it going? Oh, that was a break in the the film. I wonder what happened there. Also, OBS has gotten awesome. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I've got this, uh, they've got the video player where you can pause it now and then start it up again. It's great. There's no need to... Uh... They didn't have that in the earlier version, so it made it very hard for you to actually control the footage. This was a very tedious process. Um... Uh, you rather watch me do this? Well, then I can... Yeah, I'll I'll see what we can do. Like I said, I have Picardo. And I do do some streamings on that. Um, and again, it's kind of hard to find a spot in which to start in the day. Because, uh, again, like I said, for basically from maybe 9 o'clock to about 2... It's it, it's a it's a wild grab. Whoever needs me can call me, and I'll I'll do it. Like today, I, I spent most of the day running to Home Depot, and uh, and cleaning some of the yard up, and then pulling some uh, bags of rock into uh, just getting it from Home Depot here, and, and figuring out where we want to put it. Oh, geez, hey, thanks, Knox. Thank you for the five dollars. That was great. I appreciate it a lot. Have you ever thought about drawing the red guy from Cow and Chicken? Um, I don't know what he would do. You know, uh, oh god, I'm I'm blanking on the voice actor right now. Uh, but he do has a great Twitter account. He um, he keeps the the red guy gags a, a flowing, um, even long after the Cow and Chicken. Um. Him and Billy West have, like, this great rapport. I prefer this because you can interact with the chat more. Yeah, that's true. I've tried to do a few things. Like, when I tried to record myself watching a show and doing an art stream, and, and, and that, that, didn't, that didn't work out. I need to... I, I found out that if I just settle down and do one thing at a time then I can accomplish more than running at in five different directions at once. I mean, it's very nice to, to have your drawing program open and also watching some sort of show. But I've also found out that when I do the side-eye reviews, it goes faster if I have my tablet open and I'm watching the show and I go tick, 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 and I can write down notes as quickly as they happen. And that helps 
a lot too. That makes everything go much, much faster to get that done. Um, what I generally do with side eye review is I will watch something, anything, anything while I'm drawing. Um, and then I will put it back on repeat to maybe take a few more notes. I will revisit certain things. I'll, I'll watch one thing through while drawing something, go back, jot down all my ideas, and uh, just take notes. And then from there, it's just like a freeform thing. Like I have right here, I'm doing one on Kid Cosmic. And I maybe have like about 13, 14 points of, uh, of things to talk about. Like one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven character things, and then just like a loose association of words, and uh, and from there you can. I'm I'm surprised I can make as kind of as a coherent, almost video essay from there. Also, it does help that you can you can edit down all your ramblings afterwards. Like you maybe do about. 20 minutes of just freeform talking, and then you get a 10 minute video out of it. Ooh, Polka Dot Man. Uh, fan of yours was. I love your Halloween countdowns, the snack breaks, the most videos. Nice. Well, thank you, Polka Dot Man. I will try to continue to keep up as much as possible. I want to get back into a, 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 a flow again. Um, also, good news with Grandma. Um, I'm just saying that. A, you know, um, I've invested a lot of time into her and it's paying off in that she's got her vaccine and also her kidney function is ticked up about maybe 20%. The doctor doesn't understand what's going on. And I said, well, she says that it's because I live with her now and I've, I've, I tend to feed her, right? She's not living off of, uh, the hungry man meals she ate for like about 15 years. So that's good. Ah, uh, inking. What do I have on my finger? Oh, I made coffee. Okay, I had sweet and low on my finger. I was like, I was wiping my mouth and it was like really sweet. And I was like, what is that? It tastes kind of like vaguely of toothpaste. I guess they put artificial sweetener in toothpaste then. Uh, came to say hello. Stay safe, Joe. Yeah, Joe. Thank you very much. But anyway, Fifi is always, uh, always a popular subject. Um, and this piece actually came out really nice. The eyes don't, uh, quite... I can never get the eyes. Um, I'm just shutting my window. I, I hear a bunch of neighbors in the outside. And I don't want to bug them. Um, but yeah, anyway, I can never get quite the eyes to match the eyes in all those screenshots. Especially the popular one. Where she's hiding under the, um, the serving dish. Hello, Almighty One. How's it going? Um, but yeah, this turned out great, especially uh, just the 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 wafting hair and the the. They didn't ask for um, the vine swing, but I I just added that. I was trying to figure out what kind of pose would be good for her, and sure, swinging on a vine, holding one of the chaos emeralds. Why not? Mm -hmm. um, I've also been trying to catch up on a lot of tutorials that seem to be really, really helpful. For example, that little, the little hip bump in the hip, or like the little formation of the hip is like, it turned out really nice. And I've been watching just some, just some figure drawing tips that have been really helpful. Oh, have I seen Space Jam, A New Legacy yet? Yeah, I've seen it. I, I voiced some... Uh, it seems fine. 
Seems seems perfectly okay. Uh, hey, you, hey, you D Gil vids. How's it going? Um, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, it's 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 perfectly fine. I think. Um, well, how was I gonna put this? Uh, I don't, I, I think I called them, uh, toy collection movies where right now they'll just fill up, up a movie with all the IP that they, they have. Um, I, I, Lego movies sort of started it with, um, you know, just different, you know, uh, different thing, different IP things all clustered together and then you have um you wreck it ralph wreck ralph wrecks the internet and they had the they shoehorned the disney princesses in uh which i said i think it was a mistake because she uh what's her van sweets vanellope vanellope she goes to this other game and then she meets these people and they're very they're, they're articulate and they're philosophical and they, they, they question their place within their world. They're like, well, don't you feel bad for the players when they show up and we have to kill them? I mean, they've gotten so far just to get here. And they, they uh, you know, they die. And it's just like, well, that's the, that's the point. You know, we've got to give them the challenge. They won't feel f be fulfilled if we make everything too easy for them. And it's like... Okay, that's pretty cool. Then you have her go to like Disney.com and then have almost the same philosophical discussion with the princesses. Only it's it they don't do that. They say you're a princess, you'll know and you'll sing a song about it. They sort of cheapen the whole thing. I would have liked to have it where she hangs out with that group of of um uh, what do you call it? What was what was the video game called where it was like ultra violent and they were racing? But anyway, th that crew. I would like for her to hang out with that crew more and more, and then have them sort of talk about well, what's what what really is the nature of of you know us as video game players or video game entities and like you you need to do what you need to do. Is it about your happiness or Ralph's happiness? Something like that. I think they could have gotten that out of that, those characters, and not out of just like the 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 princesses. And it feels like it, they were just shoehorned in there because why not? It, well, it's it's based off GTA. It's based off Twisted Metal. It's based off all those things. Um, and then, of course, you have the the Looney Tunes, um, the new legacy where they have like they they threw a fit about um, about uh, Pepe Le Pew being not included, uh, but then they have the uh, you know the uh, the Clockwork Orange guys. What do you call them? The 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 Drogos. Um, they show up, and it's like ugh. Uh, what are they doing, Chad? They've done it for decades. The backlash, yeah, but those are all. Uh, oh. Hmm. The drug, yeah. I, well. Anyway, like I was saying, it's just. Um, I don't know. I, I just it just feels, and of course, the Iron Giant is now in more movies than he has appeared. In, well, uh, well, to be perfectly honest, the Iron Giant should have only appeared in that one movie. He shouldn't. Have, they shouldn't have made like a, a. They shouldn't have gone like. I'm glad they didn't go the uh, Land Before Time route and make about like 1,700 sequels for that. Um, but. What was I going to say? I was this is something to do. I was doing something. I was, I was, I had a train of thought. Let's see. 
对对对对对，呃，哦，哦 ，Geez, thanks, Tiny Studio Films, uh, for the twenty pounds. Cool, thank you so much. That's amazing. Uh, happy to hear about your grandmother's doing well. Hope she continues to do so. Are there any animated film or television series that you look forward to this year? Um, again, I've kind of accepted this this Zen like、um, feeling where I just kind of watch what I can when I pick it up. I have to go and check out Hilda season two, which I have been putting off for a long time. I guess、uh, Mitchell versus the Machines, which was like originally called Disconnected. I'm I'm looking forward to that.、Um, is that even on Netflix now? I guess not,、uh, but I know that's now a Netflix exclusive, and it、uh, it will show up.、Um, and I'm looking forward to that because that looks really interesting. Again, it's it's done by the same people who done the Lego Movie, and they haven't really.、Um, I, I can't think of like one really, really big miss that they've done so far. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That will be.、Uh, uh, glad to see you, Jill. Yeah, that'll be. And I'll enjoy that.、Uh, what else is coming out? I'm trying to think about anything. Oh, I've got a video of Lola in the works. I have a Lola video that I have in the works, but I need to watch Space Jam Two,、uh, and I also need to watch. I bet you haven't even heard of this. There's something called the Bugs Builders, or, or Builder Bugs, or something like that. It's going to be a kind of、uh, a, a a grade school kind of、uh, Looney Tunes project. Where basically Bugs Bunny and all his friends, they're going to be like building stuff. They're going to be, you know, like kind of like a, a Bob the Builder kind of thing.、Um, and I'm just wondering what interpretation of Lola will that show have?、Um, and then I can go go on and do the whole thing. I had a Lola video back planned back years ago. I put up a title card on DeviantArt that I, I and I never got around to that episode. Because、uh, I don't know, I was I was playing it up way too much. The irony, of course, is that in the the years front, since then, there have been so many more uh, uh, instances of Lola showing up. Like at the time I released that title card, there may, I may have been able to do Space Jam, Tweety's Adventure,、uh, the Lunatics Unleash, and.、Um, Lunatics Unleashed. The Looney Tunes show had just come on, so I could talk about that Lola,、um, and then maybe also what was oh the comics in the comics in the comic books she's actually like a pizza delivery girl, so that was weird.、Um, but yeah, I was I was gonna only focused on those, but now they've got then there's. They've got like lots of different things I could talk about now because she oh oh and also Baby Looney Tunes, and、uh, her showing up in the、uh, in the Bugs Bunny show. So yeah, that'll be. I've got lots more to talk about, and I can wait until、um, until that show comes out, and then I can talk about it. I mean, I, it's just worth waiting to.、Uh, It's just honestly just worth waiting, just waiting just a little bit to see what happens.、Uh, what can I talk about now? I mean, there's a I have like I've released familiar faces episodes that I could probably revisit. Like I did Olaf from Frozen. I never thought in a million years they would make a Frozen two, in which Olaf basically does what I said he he you know sidekick characters do.、Um, I should maybe like re-upload that video onto my main channel, and then add some stuff to it. That might be, that might be worthwhile looking into.、Um, yeah, because it's it's always interesting when I make a video on a character, and then other new stuff pops up. It's like, okay, well, what do I do then?、Uh, 
I'm trying to think of other videos where that has happened. Um, like nothing came up of Katie Kaboom. Nothing popped up there. Baby doll is still pretty much intact. I think she maybe showed up in one the background of one comic. Um, oh yeah, the MST3K uh, Kickstarter. That's a thing. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, I'll chip into more MST3K. I don't know what what that'll what platform will that be on. I thought it was on Netflix. Are they going to sell it back to Netflix or or take it somewhere else? Yeah, because it didn't do it didn't do quite the numbers it was supposed to. Uh, you should do an episode of Familiar Faces on Mimi and Lily from Dexter's Lab. I, you know, you I, there are interesting characters, but I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what the best route to go for Familiar Faces is. Should I just pick out random characters and do videos about them, or should I do? Should I focus on characters that actually have? important things to say like i'm doing one on hello nurse because it first of all i think i how can i put this i'm moving at it from an angle of well hello nurse is she's iconic to animaniacs oh i didn't even start this again there we go she's iconic to animaniacs but she's not really in it all that much i went through all the footage i could find of her and it came out to about 17 minutes now, that's 17 minutes of a show that's been running for about four years with maybe about uh, 13 to a max 30 episodes a season. So it's like, yeah, what do, what do you, how, like, is that character really that integral? Um, and she does have her moments and I, there's plenty to talk about. But then I also, when you when you brought up uh, Mimi and Lily, and I was thinking, well, that's actually kind of fun. I could maybe just do like, hey, this is these are Dee Dee's friends. Um, but I'm thinking like they show up in the pool episode to do a synchronized swim. They show up in the slumber party episode, and is I I think that might be it. Um, oh, and yeah, I'm going to also do a side-eye review of Harley Quinn, um, just because I want to. I really did like that video, or that, that series. So I will do a video on that, at least, at least the first, first season. Second season, I kind of half-watched and half-didn't, so I'm, I'm going to check that out, too. Um, but yeah, I'm just, now, what other episodes did Mimi and Lily show up in? And can I actually get like a full video out of that? And what would I say? What do those characters signify? Um, that that Dee Dee needed some friends. Um, I guess so. Hmm. And if you're like, I guess Lily had like a crush on Dexter, so. Uh, if you wanted to ship those two, sure. I think I've seen some art of that um, on DeviantArt, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you just like, oh, I like these characters. What what do they have to say, or what makes them unique? Oh hell, I actually at the beginning of the year I used that mind mapping program to look at a bunch of to set up different video outlines. And here's the outline for Familiar Faces. Let's see. Let me bring it up. It's at the very bottom because I've written so much. Uh, untitled. Well, is it here? Oh, wait. No, I have it on. I have it on the computer. I installed it on the tablet and I installed it on the computer too because it's very helpful. Oh, wait. No, I have it right here. I do have it here. And I'll read some off to you.
Let's see. Uh, I have uh, under the main guide, it says uh, Familiar Faces Guide Outline. What makes the One branch is what makes the character special? Uh, how do they relate to ter their contemporaries? Uh, are they a good character in a bad show or a bad character in a good show? These are just some questions to, to answer. Uh, do they have many versions or iterations? Like you could argue that that Lola has many versions and iterations. Um, are they a fan favorite? Um, who is their performer? Uh, how were they created? How does their character feel about them? Um, and then, of course, you have controversies. And then, uh, does the character embody or betray the show's philosophies and conventions? And then I have that a little arrow drawn over to the next branch, uh, which says, uh, what makes the series that they are in special? And then I have uh, controversies, style, artistic style, writing, embracing or subverting trends, um, history of production. And then I have another branch sprouting out from there and it says creator, staff and studio. And then underneath that is the, the third branch, which says personal connection, which means how, what, what are my feelings about the characters? Um, and then also my personal history with the series, like if it's Pokemon, well, what do I have? I have a huge history with Pokemon because I, I started that shit back in the sixth grade. And then it was a huge, uh, huge influence on me in middle school. And then even leading up to high school a little bit. Um, yeah, I, I... Oh, you like this template. I'm. Yeah, well, this is a, just a good way to just organize my thoughts and keep it together. And it really helps. Like I said, I've already kicked out about maybe four other scripts. Um, and then I have down here underneath it, is this just a retrospective of a topic? Which means, like, is it a top... Is it a top ten list, etc.? Um... And then from there I go, is it a holiday that I like? And then over there I have the emoticons for a jack-o'-lantern, a Christmas tree, etc. Ooh, is it a type of character? And then I put like the top 10 cartoon moms, which is a list I already made. Um, is it a convention or a motif? Which, you know, top animated movie openings, which is a, a episode that I do plan on... Uh, on doing one time. Um, let's see now. Um, and then at the very bottom, is it just a movie or a special? And then I said, um, maybe consider it a familiar short, which means just like a review of a short, or maybe just consider it uh, as a side eye review, which means that if I can't answer any of the criteria, just do a side eye review of it. Let's see, what else? I, I did a bunch of these. At the beginning of the year, I made a bunch of these uh, outlines so I can actually uh, figure out what's the best course for writing an episode. What's this one about? No, no, no. I have, I have the geek. I have outlines. This is great. I have, like, outlines for three characters I can make. I have Stanley Ipkiss from The Mask. Which I point out that he's he's in the cartoon series. He's actually like a tragic hero because he never wants to get rid of the mask, um, and it's it's kind of like a Hulk situation where he he has to hold on to the mask so that no one eviler than him gets a hold of it. So that's why he's sort of tragic in that regard. I have one episode on the geek from Sam and Max, which I'm going to write soon. Uh, what's this? What's this? This is an outline for, uh, can you believe it? Okay, yeah, this is, this is, I'm trying to resurrect this situation, uh, or resurrect this video series where I just take a look at weird things. Uh, I have it right here. Is it, uh, the different branches. Underneath one is the question, is it a board game? Does it have RPG elements in it? Then you'd better just make it a cheap damage. Um, is it? Is it useful and antique or retro? Do I have a personal connection with it? 
then you better make it a thrifty find. So this is basically the criteria for anything that's not one of these in the video series, then you just better make it a different video other than Can You Believe It? Can You Believe It is, is I'll save it for like the weirdest things I could possibly find. And then of course I have, is it food? Then just make it a snack break. Um, let's see. And then I have a two other topics branching off. So let's see, is it a videotape or video games? Are they cheap knockoffs or poorly made cash grabs? If yes, then it's a can you believe it? Uh, is it both new yet already useless or out of place? Does it have a glaring defect or inherent... God, my, I wrote this wrong. Absurd, absurdity. Oh, absurdity. I thought that was like, okay, wow. Inherent absurdity. I don't know what I meant by that. I mean, I know what I meant now. It means is it just too strange to function? Um, hold on a second. Oh, some other people are, uh, are, are commenting on my... Uh, someone said uh, sour chocolate... Uh, that's illegal, uh, obviously an ironic, uh, comment on my, uh, my, uh, latest snack break that I, uh, I posted, which honestly is not that weird now that I think about it. There was a store up north in Strawberry, uh, Arizona, which is a, a quaint little town where grandma and the family used to have a cabin, um, and there was a ice cream store there. They also sold fudge. Um, and they would, like, you had the mainstay flavors, you had your chocolate, you had peanut butter, um, which was pretty good, you had white, you had white fudge, and then you had, um, like, mint chocolate chip fudge, which was great, and they would also, like, include, like, ribbons of fruit, like, maybe even a raspberry or a strawberry, and that those would be, like, your... Those would be off the beaten path flavors, where it's like, oh, hey, you like this? Well, give this a shot. So actually, now that I think about it, like the the sour fudge, um, it's more of a fudge than it is a chocolate. Let's just agree on that. So it, it didn't taste quite that unusual to me. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I have I can get rid of the, a lot of these. I can get rid of. You ever have things on your phone that you can just get rid of? Let's see. I have Midlife Crustacean, which I can get rid of. I have the first season of Archer, which I think I will hold on to. Oh, here we go. Thrifty Finds Outline. Here we go. Yeah, Peanut Butter Fudge is actually pretty good. Although, like I said, I think my favorite was the, uh, the Mint Chocolate Chip. I did not forget her tail. I mean, I did forget her tail, but... I'm going to add her tail. Did I add her tail? Yeah, I added her tail. I'm going to add her tail after um, after a, a while. But yeah, I did forget it initially. Uh, came here more or less to say hello. Well, hello, not ordinary in games. Uh, if you want to stick around in about 10 minutes when this video is done, I'm going to play something. I don't know what. I'm going to play something on the PS4, either Brohalla or, uh, damn, that's another break in the, I didn't, uh, I didn't stick these videos close enough together, I guess. Huh. Uh, I'm either, I'm either going to play some Gungeon or some, uh, Brawlhalla just to, uh, try something different. Although there's a lot of weird stuff that they've done in Fortnite, um, which is pretty fun. I'll get I'll get back to that some other time. I know people are probably sick of Fortnite. Although Pat from uh Pat stares at, I guess he's been doing great. Although he's been playing he's new. When you play for a while, then you don't get you don't get paired with like uh with newbies and stuff. Like I won a I had a huge win streak when I first started to play. And then uh, that that teetered off. 
Although I've I've won like three games in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, okay, so this is the thrift, thrifty finds outline. Um, uh, basically, one is the basics: how much did it cost, and where can I find it? Uh, is it obsolete? Uh, if so, can it be replaced? The, again, these are just like branch, branching concepts to answer. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, got another 12-hour work day. Better get myself to bed. Okay, well, see you, Demo. You take care. Uh, have I watched play... Have I watched Matt play Angry Video Game Nerd 2? No, I haven't, although I have that. I got it off of a Steam sale. I bought that off of a Steam sale, and then I bought a, um... What else do I have? I have the Castlevania collection off of Steam. Um, I bought, like, a, in Easter, one of those, like, Easter egg random giveaway things, and I got a bunch of different games there. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to try and get that going. When it gets too hot, um, I may move my second computer from the garage in here. And then that way I can play more Steam games. Because I will have a second computer that I can just... I can just... Uh, I don't know how that works. I really need to get a tower that... Um, Let's see, how can I put this? I really need to get a, uh, a computer that has two um, ports for two separate graphics cards. So that way I can have one run all the gaming stuff and then one running all the recording and streaming stuff. Um, let's see, what makes it... You know, I, I just, I'm just really proud of all these outlines I've come up with because they really do help when you're planning on... Just, do I still accept emails for 50 fines? I should. Yeah, yeah, that that's still up. I'm going to look. I'll look and uh, figure out what that email is. Like I said, I really need to start just kicking things up a notch and really start to... Uh, just just go for it. Go at everything full steam again. Oh, oh, I was going to say did it did it freeze? No. Um Do you ever think about someone will find your battle cart in a second hand shop? Uh, you know what? They could find it, but at that point the only thing that would be on there would be the bolts. Like I would take the monitor, I would take the computer, I would take all the film equipment. And someone would find it and figure out, well, why is all, why are all these weird holes here? Um, and why is there like a, a bracket stuck on the back? Um, but yeah, I guess after a while, someone would find it. It would have to eventually go off. Either I would replace it or I would have no more need of it. Or not be able to use it. Who knows? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And this is just the, the quick color phase. Um, I think they originally asked for just the line art. And I, fig I, just, I just wanted to do the coloring. Because it would just give me an excuse to do a video. I have maybe like three other videos I could do for art casts that would like really uh, fill out the my roster of videos to to make and, and post. So I just decided to go ahead and color it. It only takes like a little bit of time to add like a little bit of flair to it. Hold on a second. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. As such videos will experience buffering. Now my my OBS says I've got like 4000 KBMs going directly to YouTube. But I guess YouTube is not, huh, let's see, stream health. Yep, says everything's healthy. So screw you YouTube, you suck. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> also, I, on, other characters don't have this, I think. I think maybe Shirley has this. But Fifi has those uh, kind of blue eyes. I'm almost certain that, uh, that Babs doesn't have that. Hello, Amelie. How's it going? I, yeah, let's see. Let's look at that. <laughs> and let's come on, open up Babs Bunny. Okay, yeah, she's got wide eyes, of course. Now let's go with Shirley the Loon. Shirley the Loon. Yeah, well, actually, sure. Well, no, some models have her with, uh, sometimes she has the blue eyes. Yeah, she's got blue eyes most of the time, so that's weird. I wonder why they made that choice of uh, the blue, the pale blue eyes. Actually, no, I'm looking at a video clip now. In one, she has, she has white eyes. And then in one, like, um, Tiny Toons Adventures. How I spent my summer vacation. They're really blue here. Uh, but this one uh, this one clip I'm also seeing play, they're like a really, they're almost white. But you can tell they're kind of blue. Interesting. I wonder. Oh, and this is just like a really quick background. Just like a quick splash of color for... Uh, if memory serves, Babs wore blue contacts lenses because her eyes were naturally brown. Well, I'm not talking about the actual eye color. I'm talking about the, uh, the whites of their eyes, which are actually like a deep blue. Oh, that's neat. Uh, I just got... There's this, like, wonderful little fan art. Uh, I wonder if I can actually put it up here. It's um, of Shirley... Well, let's see. What's the timing on this? About 55. Okay. It's... Uh, you guys remember that weird duck um, from... Oh, let's see. What was it called? Um, you know where, where Daffy was an exorcist? Um... I'm trying to think about what it was. It's not Quackbusters. It was where uh, Daffy Duck was an exorcist, and this woman, this duck woman, called called her uh, called him for help. Well, it's this wonderful little cute little fan art of Shirley the Loon and her, and they're like in this little like um, it's a very minimalistic uh, background design. Uh, with just the couch and a picture and a little like cushion, and they're both hovering and they uh, both having a, like a little talk. It's neat. Actually, let's let me look it up. Let's see if I can find it before the timer runs out. We got forty-five seconds. Let's see. Uh, it's called Melissa and Shirley. Talking about this is like exciting acting. Hey, let's see if Google will pop that up. Come on. Uh, images. Oh, I could have just typed in Shirley the Loon. Shit. Oh no, it popped up. It popped up right away. Come on. Okay. Well, here's the final product. And let's see if I can get this on here, which is a, a little piece of artwork that I thought was really cute. Drag into source. Okay, can't do that. Just wait. Save. Uh, da, da, da. I'll just save it first. And then put it in. Good lord. And good, I got it. Yeah, I thought that was just really neat. That kind of makes sense a little bit. 
where it's another kind of psychic duck speaking to another psychic duck. Very cute. Very good work. A cook. A cook Ives. A cook Ives. A cook Ives. Very good. I'm going to check them out, see what, what else they have. It's very fun. Yeah, I don't want to get rid of that. But anyway, there's the final product. Um, turned out really nice, actually. Um, I mean, I've done my fair share of uh, Fifi drawings and Fifi commissions. Um, but yeah, yeah. Turned out pretty good. Anyway, thank you. Thank you all for joining me. Um, and I will see you all next ArtCast. Thank you very much. Thank mm-hmm. you.